Lancet 2016 paper. Uh, so here the mathematics. First question is the LCM of two power seven into three power four into seven. This is one number, and the other one is two cube into three power four into eleven. So here for LCM is we'll write like all the numbers. But when you have something like common here, two power seven and two power three, you need to take the highest one, like two power seven, three power four, three power four. So three power four, we need to write seven and eleven. So LCM is two power seven into three power four into seven into eleven. So the correct option is three. Correct option is three. Uh, suppose if they ask HCF here they didn't ask, but if they ask HCF, we need to write only the common elements. So here two power three, two power seven. So the common is two power three and three power four. Seven and eleven we don't have common, so this is HCF. They didn't ask, but if they ask, next one, second question. The number of rational numbers exists between any two distinct rational numbers. So any two distinct rational numbers, see you can take. Like normally you can take two and three also natural numbers, or if you want you can take in terms of like fraction one by two, or one by three, one by two. Between these, how many rational numbers exist? See infinite. Answer is infinite because in eighth class only we have this topic. So there is like if you want ten natural numbers, or if you want to insert five, you can first make them like fractions, convert them into like fraction. So here into two, into two, into three. Into three, so it is two by six. This is three by six. Now you want to insert like five numbers, so you can multiply with six by six. So it will be like twelve by thirty-six, and here eighteen by thirty-six. So between twelve and eighteen, we'll get like five numbers. Five, if you want, you can multiply and divide with six, or normally you can do with ten by ten. So between any two numbers, for example, take two and three also. You can write two point one, two point five, six, seven like this. Infinite rational numbers you can insert between any two rational numbers. So here, the correct option is four. Next one, the prime factorization of one six three eight double zero. So the prime factorization of one six three eight double zero. See normally you can do one six three. So I'll do here with like two table. So two times eight, two times one, one is left. Eighteen, two times nine, zero zero. Next again with two table. Two times four zero, one is left nine. Again two nines eighteen, one is left two fives zero. Next again two times two zero two fours eight. Two sevens fourteen two fives two zero four seven five. Again divide with like three. So now because it will not go in two table, so take three table. So three times six eighteen. So two is left here twenty four three eight twenty four three two six three fives fifteen. So again three table three times two three times two two is left twenty two. Three sevens, twenty-one, three fives. Next, now see here it will not go in three table. Okay, so now you can divide with five. Five fours, twenty. So twenty-seven. Five fives, twenty-five. Five fives, twenty-five. Again, the next one is like five nine one. Now it will go in seven table. Seven times one, seven times thirteen. So here I got like two cube. Into three square, into five square, into seven into thirteen. So the prime factorization is two cube into three square. So here the correct option is two. Two cube into three square, into five square, into seven into eleven. So the correct option is two. Now next question. Log. So fourth question: one by log 
एक्स वाई वन बाई लॉग एक्स वाई टू द बेस एक्स प्लस वन बाई लॉग एक्स वाई टू द बेस वाई सी आई कैन यूज फॉर्मूला लाइक सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लॉग ए टू द बेस बी वी कैन रेडाइज वन बाई लॉग बी टू द बेस ए सो हियर वी हैव लॉग वन बाय लॉग बी टू द बेस ए सो दिस टर्म आई कैन राइट लाइक लॉग एक्स टू द बेस एक्स वाई प्लस लॉग वाई टू द बेस एक्स वाई सो हियर अगेन आई यूज द लॉग रिथम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट फॉर्मूला लॉग ए टू द बेस एक्स प्लस लॉग बी टू द बेस एक्स इज लॉग ए बी टू द बेस एक्स दिस इज द फॉर्मूला logarithm of product now see here log in place of a we have x in place of b we have xy y so xy to the base xy so again if i use the formula log a to the base a is 1 so here i'll get log xy to the base xy is 1 so the correct option is 2 next one log 3 value is given Okay, log three value is given. So log fifteen plus log two. So log fifteen plus log two. Again, if I use this formula, logarithm of product. This formula, if I use log a to the base x plus log b to the base x is log a b. So here I can write log fifteen into two. That is log thirty. Log thirty to the base ten. You can take base ten. So log thirty I can write as log 10 into 3 to the base 10 now again i'll use log ab i'll split in a different way you now log 10 to the base 10 plus log 3 to the base 10 log 10 to the base 10 is 1 plus log 3 to the base 10 value is given 0.4771 so 1 plus 0.4771 is 1.4771 so here the correct option is 2 sixth question if a equals 1 2 3 4 5 and b equals 4 5 6 7 then a minus b so a minus b a values are like 1 2 3 4 5 4 minus 4 5 6 7 so here 4 5 will get cancelled so whatever is left on the left side that will write in a minus so here 1 2 3 so the correct option is 3 among the following a null set where n is a set of natural numbers so here set of natural numbers see x less than 5 x such that x is less than 5 And x belongs to natural number. So here you'll get the elements like one, two, three, four. So here we have four elements. So it is not a null set. The second option, x such that x square equals four. So here you can substitute like two square, which is four. So here in the set you have one element which is two. So this is also not a null set. Next step. See third option. If you'll see. X square plus one equals zero, so x square equals minus one. X equals root of minus one. So here you will not get a natural number, so the correct option is three. The correct option is three. Here fourth option, if you will see, x is an even prime, so even prime is two. So here this also will get one element. So in the third option, you will not get element, so the correct option is three. Next one, if a subset of b, then a minus b. So a subset of b. Third question. So eighth question. A subset of b. So take example for a subset of b. In a you take like one two. In b you take one two three. So all the elements of a should be in b. So now if I do a minus b. So one two minus one two three. So here one. One, two, two will get cancelled. So left side, nothing is left. So answer is null set. So the correct option is null set two. Next one, 
the length of a rectangular dining hall is twice of its breadth and if x represents the breadth of the hall and its area is 5 square units now see here 9th one length of a rectangular dining hall is twice its breadth so if x represents breadth so breadth is here x length is twice its breadth so length is 2x and area is the total 5 square units so l into b is 5 so l is 2x into x equals 5 so 2x square equals 5 so the equation is 2x square minus 5 equals 0 so 2x square minus 5 equals 0 so correct option is 2 here the correct option is Two x square minus five equals zero. Next one. Tenth question: The sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros of polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. So here, sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is minus b by a. And if you we'll compare with the standard one, a x square plus b x plus c, a value is one, b is seven c is 10 so with that minus 7 by 1 so answer is minus 7 so the correct option is 2 here the correct option is 2